Hello everybody, my name is Zool and welcome to another software video. If you are anything like me, you might have a little bit of a problem, because I know I do. I have a problem with Explorer Windows. Generally with the modding and the video making and all that other stuff, I tend to have a whole bunch of these guys up on my screen at a time. Like let's just take a quick look at some of my older videos and you can see just how many I tend to have going at the same time. And this annoyed me. I like things to be clean. I like things to be organized. That's why I use tools like desktop fences to keep things, you know, going for me properly. So I wanted to find a solution for this and a solution I did find in a wonderful little utility called Clover. Clover is available for completely free on the internet and it is a piece of software that gives you Chrome style tabs and bookmarks into any Explorer window you open and ever since I started using this it has changed my life. Now this video is going to be a little bit different than some of the other ones that I've done in the past because it is a program that is pretty much completely in another language uh, so you may need to open up Google Translate just to see everything but if you follow my instructions, I will prove to you that it is a safe piece of software to use. Uh, so once you download it, you're going to get an installer like this, that main button there in the window uh, that says install. I believe the one on the left hand side uh, is accepting the terms and agreements. If you check it off, it becomes grayed out. And that one is asking you if you want a start menu shortcut. Uh, I'm just going to leave that checked, I suppose, no reason why not. After that, you can just hit install. Then you're going to get this nice little wizard. It's going to give us all these cool little hotkeys and stuff that we can't read, but don't worry about that right now. We're just going to finish and launch Clover and see just how much better things are going to be. So once I decide to click this out of the way... Alright, now the first thing you'll notice is our Explorer windows are completely different. At the top there, I got tabs and I have a bookmarks bar, which I have been using a lot of. If I want to open up two different locations, things are much, much easier. I can have my videos open, as well as having my programs open, as well as opening my Steam Steam Apps Common, which will make modding things so much quicker since I can just click around back and forth. There's not so many windows to navigate, and if I want to close everything all at once, I can do so with pretty much the click of a button. Now you can launch Clover by clicking on the Clover icon, but that's not the only way to do it, so you can actually go ahead and delete that. Opening up any folder or Explorer window will open up with the Clover interface, don't worry about that. Also, you really don't need to worry about uh, any sort of slowdowns or lag, I haven't noticed a single bit of difference here. Uh, if you notice here up in the uh, corner, there is a few other options, you can do some bookmarks, things like that, it's great. Okay, so now it's time for us to talk about some of the hotkeys. These can all be found on Clover's website, by the way, so you don't really need to worry about it. Now, one of the really useful hotkeys in Clover is Control N, which opens up a brand new window like this. Now, as you can see, while the tabs are great, sometimes you really just do need two windows so you can drag things back and forth. Now, this is especially useful for things like modding and uh, installing certain programs. Uh, Control T will just open up a new tab. Control W will close a tab. Control Shift T reopens the last closed tab. This is actually a hotkey in Chrome if you weren't aware. Control D and Control Shift D manage your bookmarks. You can tab over through the different tabs. Uh, this really saves you a lot of time. You become a bit more of a power user if you do that. And finally, you can enable or disable the bookmarks bar with Control Shift B. Uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'll just leave these up on the screen for a little while. Please consider subscribing to my videos and let me know how you like these software showcases. Your feedback really helps a lot. Yeah.